Welcome to Batman and Robin. We're watching Batman and Robin. We're going to watch Batman and Robin now. I'm going to give us a countdown on go. We're going to start wait, watching Wait, wait, hang on, right. hang on. Just a reminder. Oh, we are doing this oh. at zero, zero, zero because once again, there's some weird... And once again, for some reason, shit. they don't know how to fucking fade to black after a studio logo. So at the zero second mark, Batman and Robin. I'm going to say one, two, three, go. On go, you hit play. And we're all going to watch it together. Are all we right, all ready? Three. Mason. Shut up. Yes, we're all I'm ready. ready. Yeah, we didn't check. I'm ready. You're three. Ready. Two, one. Jacob, don't go. count with me. No, don't hit play I, yet. Wait, wait. Don't hit play yet. He said go. Don't hit play yet. No, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Don't, really? don't, don't count with me. Don't counting. count with me. What, what do you mean you weren't ready? No, Jacob, Jacob was counting with me. You can't count with me in the countdown. It's going to confuse people that are following along. Okay, yeah, yeah. when I say go. Everyone go back. When to I the say, everyone back to the start. Can we restart the recording? This is a mess. No, you, no, you look this like you're repenting right now. <laughs> this, this is it. This is it. All right, ready. Are we going to do a second mark? Yes, let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. We're here. Mason's never seen this before. I've Mason's never seen, never seen this before. This, however, was me and Jacob's first ever Batman movie. Yes, it was. Oh. No. Wow. Yeah, for some reason. Okay. All right. I do want to be in the credits though, because I'm curious. I'm... We oh, should probably we should probably share our stories though as to how we saw these uh, first before any other Batman. Movie. Also, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Schwarzenegger comes just first. get top billing. Top billing. Yep. Then Clo- we're back in 1989, man. Uh, then Clooney. Then Chris. Hey, Chris O'Donnell at least see. gets third. Then probably Uma Thurman. Yeah, yeah okay, Uma Thurman. Uma Thurman. Then, Ali- then Alicia Silverstone? Yes, yep. definitely. That's, yeah. yeah. And then no one else, because it's Batman and Robin. And then we're going to credit Michael Goff, I'm guessing. Yay. I hope so. Oh, but hey, hey, we get a Nightwing logo. Oh, that's we do. fun. They're flying together. Which at this point, yeah. we definitely would have had the blue Nightwing suit, right? Yeah. it's 97. Yeah. So, okay, Jacob, so tell us about your uh, your first ever yeah. Batman movie experience. I caught it on TV at my grandmother's house. I caught it on TV in my dad's basement. My dad kind of like knew that Batman would be something I liked, and he was like, here you go, watch this one that's on TV right now. Watch this this one. one. I do kind of like the suit up sequence. Oh yeah, if you like Batman, we'll watch this. Oh god, no, we're doing the TV credits again. Yep. Like a golf. And Pat Hingle! Pat Hingle. Give it to me. I'm a little less so drunk than I was at the end of the last commentary, by the way. A little less drunk. There he is. Yeah. I guess the quick update. Cool. My, my migraine's starting to go away, so I'm feeling a bit better. Oh, that's good. Okay, so we basically have a Nightwing costume with a cape here for Robin. Exact same music cue that opened the last one. So, yeah. a slightly different bat cave, I think. Mm-hmm. Yes. Hatred. Hatred. <laughs> Hatred. Ellie McPherson. Don Drum Lover! Drum Lover! Yes! Give it to A Fox. Okay, I love the implication that Bruce that... has destroyed so many Batmobiles at this point. I like how the brake lights for the Batmobile are flames. What the yeah, hell? So Elliot Voltenthal did the did this one too. Yep. I'll cancel the pizzas. He tried. I mean. I I know so much of this movie, though. I've seen this so many times, I hate it. You can't... Oh, you're crying. Is he okay? Oh, no. No, Michael Goff, no. The actual, <laughs> like, an actually genuinely emotional plot line in this film. Oh, okay. If, if he starts coughing again, I'll start crying. <laughs> Look, we've got... We've actually got Commissioner Gordon being a police commissioner and working with Batman. I've mean, got basically the, um, one of those uh, 60s show scenes. Mr. Well, I mean, this movie is basically just a tribute to the 60s show. 
Mm-hmm. This one in particular. Like, also, if you're watching this commentary and uh, you haven't seen our last one, it came out the same day. We're watching this okay. directly after Batman Forever. Yeah, that directed like- by credit was slightly better than the last one. No, it wasn't. The last one was like further down on the screen. This one was slightly up. And anyway, I'm now having ice cream in, in honor of Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> oh, yeah. What a, what a costume. What a costume. That's like... I can't tell if I like that costume or not. Yeah, it's it's kind of... It's tough to tell. The Iceman cometh? Mercy. <laughs> what a fucking oh my god this casting this fucking casting yeah this is insane I love this like Terminator 3 has just come out Arnold's like fuck I gotta do something what what is the absolute I don't help no, what that's a that's a lie that's a lie. Yeah, that's not okay, correct. Um, hi, Freeze. I'm Batman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, the do. Sorry. How's this fucking Flintstones? You don't understand, Mason. That's the fun of this movie. It's ridiculous. I can't wait for there to be a really emotional scene where he's like, my parents. Uh... Wait, <laughs> his motorcycle made the Robin logo. Yeah, yeah. it did. Got a, got a problem with that? Yes, I'm upset. I'm outraged. I've had enough. Turn this movie off. <laughs> what the fuck? Gaining <laughs> villains because he's a Mr. Freeze. That was... What? Okay, this is a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like, okay, I so I, I, I said this between recordings. I knew that the opening scene was like this, and I knew like some other like jokes that they do it later on. This is so fast. Yeah. Like oh my god, okay. So when they actually let Schumacher be Schumacher, and it's honestly all the better for it. Be gay, do crime. God, what what D and D like fucking animation am I watching right now? <laughs> Fighting with hockey sticks. Should I make a make an encounter like this in in my game? Yes, you should. I you actually. Should. Hey, there are some great evil plant monsters in D and D. Hi, freeze. I'm Urk. Oh my god, the fucking ice skates. <laughs> Mason's face at that. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy. Sorry, my for, for everyone at home who probably doesn't even know what I look like, my, my face just lit up <laughs> so much. <laughs> it did occur to me, like, I feel like people who follow you who listen to this, they don't know what I look like. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, probably. I mean, I, let's be real, I don't put my face many places in my actual channel. I don't think they know what I look like either, to be honest. That's fair. I mean, there are like some drawings of me that go around a lot, obviously, but that's about it. Yeah. All right, I'm making the mistake of leaning on my chair now. Oh, God. (laughs) Are you going to fall? I might. Oh. We'll see how intoxicated I get. What the fuck? The Ice Age! Age. Yes! I love this movie. <laughs> this As you movie should. Ever. As you should. I feel like you guys are one of the only people I've met who prefer this to Batman Forever. I, I feel, mean, I feel it's like the I correct, it's, that it's the correct opinion, really. <laughs> oh, the dinosaur. This is definitely a new track, though. Yeah, yeah, that is new. But I, I swear, most of the music in this is just oh, used from forever. Oh, 
what the fuck is this? I also don't think we're. I think we have some mutual friends who also like this movie better than. I think I just saw that as well. Yeah. 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 (laughs) Oh, did someone like like a letterbox thing or something? Or no, no, uh, in a Discord. Actually, we could just say who it is because because they because he's been on the channel. Uh, 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 our friend Marcus. Friend Marcus, yeah, oh, and and actually, our friends of the Enterprise system. Fuck yeah! Look, look at everyone go. Oh yeah, Let's go. they want to come on the channel for Spider Man, and uh, yes. if we do the Pride special on DC, I was supposed to mention that off camera, but I didn't. Oh, cool. And and, and what special? Uh, the, if we do the Pride special, the DC. Pride oh yeah, we should, yeah, yeah, we should do this Pride special. Yeah, yeah. Everyone forget that that they said that. Yeah, that, that didn't. I mean, honestly, those things might already be out at this point by the time this comes out. Who knows? I haven't released any of the commentaries yet at the time of this coming out. So. Wow. Or at the time of recording this, I can't speak. I'm drunk. I was going to say, we haven't, have we? I'm excited for the comments of the first one being like, hey, when you guys do Batman and Rob, or like, like when you guys do Batman and Robin, you guys should do this or something. It's like we've already recorded all of them. I always love those comments on my Star Trek videos that are always like, when you do the next generation, or you do the movie, you should fucking do this. And it's like, no, I've already fucking recorded those. Fuck you. Like, stop being a nerd. Like, I mean, are, are half of them are at least really nice, it? like genuinely nice people who are being enthusiastic. What some of them are just... uh, pro- it's, it's some, some of them are nice. A lot of them are just like weird nerds. I say it as a weird nerd. Also, nerd. did we mention that Mr. Freeze has a rocket ship? Yeah. Altimeter? <laughs> hey! You know what else? You know, planes had altimeters, Mason. What's the plane? Jacob. Now, Mason, I have to I have to actually ask before he shows up, Mason. Do you know who John Glover is? No. He's kind of like DC adaptation royalty, really. Um, he's, he's showing up in things, and it's he does, but most mostly up. mostly as villains, as various DC villains' fathers. Um, he was uh, Lex Luthor's dad in Smallville. He was uh, he was Doctor Savannah's dad in Shazam. He was uh, the Riddler on Batman the Animated Series, and he's in this in a in a role that you will see very shortly. Actually, um, he's great. He's a wonderful actor. Bet. Cat in my room, guys. Yay, cat! She's over there. I can't get her. Come here, John. Let me go get her. I do like that. Uh, at, at, at the point of Clooney in Batman at live action adaptations, none of them are really even trying anymore to to like sound even slightly in intimidating way. when they're in the when they're in the costume. Hi, Freeze. I'm Batman. Hi, Freeze. I'm Batman. <laughs> it's the greatest line. It sounds like he's opening it, like like opening up like an infomercial. Oh yes. I, I do remember this. I saw a clip of this. They're surfing. Yes! Yes! Look at it. Oh my god. He's a butterfly. Look at them. Look at them. Oh my god. So, how can you hate you Honestly, like how can you hate this movie? I think it's very easy to hate this movie on first viewing. I mean, After I that, you, you... you just kind of have to throw caution to the wind. I mean, I mean, this would have been my first exposure to the character of Batman. Yeah. I mean, I same here. Same with this and, and, and Mr. Freeze and Robin and all of them. Kelbunga! I feel like it would be easier to hate this if this was, like, the most recent Batman movie, but now that there's been so many others, it's like, okay, it's just like... Yeah. I mean, that's the other thing, is, like, there were there was eight years between this and Batman Begins. And actually, bet- between this and, and Batman Begins, which is, like, the only other DC film that came out between this and and uh, and that. I mean, I guess there's but Constantine was 04, right? Constantine would have come out. Oh god, Catwoman would have come out. Fuck. <laughs> Super, was Superman Returns out by then or no? Returns was 06. Oh, okay. I was playing with a sweater string and I dropped it and my cat was like, oh, it's mine now. Again, like, yeah, what helps what helps desperately is that this film commits. Yeah. Like it doesn't really care how ridiculous it is at this point. No, Robert. Oh, 
he's dead. That's he's just killed Robin. He just killed Robin. Can we agree that uh, George Clooney is not the worst live action Batman? I mean, um, I don't know. <sighs> Who would you say it is then? Kilmer. Yeah, probably Kilmer. I mean, Kilmer. I guess oh just, God, yeah, Kilmer. Yeah, well, here's the thing: I think Clooney is a fantastic Bruce Wayne. I just don't like his Batman. Yeah, that's fair. I don't remember because I because I, 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 I really like Clooney scenes as as Bruce. I also, because I've seen some of the the uh, the '60s show, I never quite realized how much of a tribute the Freeze costume is to some of the '60s show costumes. Mm. I mean, so is so is what they put him a Thurman in, but they never did yeah. Poison Ivy in. Well, here's here's the show. I, I see, but the problem with this though is that um, in this movie, like none of the Batman costumes have like any yellow on them at all, and that kind of sucks. Yeah, you're right. And actually, also, let's be real. Like, I know we joked about the Nightwing thing, but like, the Robin costume is ass. I fucking hate this costume. Okay, but I love this fucking model shot. Here we go. Just... Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. This is what the movie's all about, right here. This is it, right here. <laughs> what a great costume! <laughs> What a great line! Oh my god! <laughs> so, so she's quite literally researching animals in the Amazon. Uh, yep. wait, what was the line from the Madam Web trailer? <laughs> like the fucking uh, I was researching uh, what spiders, or whatever. What the hell was it? My mom was researching spiders. I think I forget what it is. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Doctor. So Robert. John Glover's stealing her samples. Costco. It's giving Costco. It's the way that, the way that <laughs> Look at her. Oh my god. Fucking Uma Thurman. Fresh off uh, uh, I guess Pulp Fiction at the time, right? Probably, probably Pulp Fiction? Pulp yeah. Fiction was a, um, four, right? a, a great story. I remember watching a, an Uma Thurman interview about, about this movie and she was like, I said to I said to Joel, I was, she was like, she's like, I can't be a damsel in distress in this movie. It can't happen. And uh, I mean, I suppose she isn't, but also there are a few scenes where um, one can't help but feel um, like a, like she was ignored in that request. Okay, now now we just have to talk about this. Glover, look at, John him. look at him, John fucking Glover. Three concentric holes <laughs> directly into Antonio's cranial cavity. <laughs> He's so diet. good! He's so good! Oh my I god. Limbic system! <laughs> so, just, so, Jacob, so, so, Mason, did you Venom. know that, uh, that Bane was going to show up in this? I genuinely forgot. I forgot Bane was in this. I mean, well, to be fair, it's not really Bane. This is absolutely I like the the furthest you could possibly get from comic book Bane. Like even Dark Knight Rises Bane is closer than this. What the fuck? John Glover is giving just Venom in performance. Yeah, they're giving him Tom Hardy. <sighs> it's giving Tom Hardy. <laughs> <laughs> he pops up. I mean, I mean, really, uh, really, the portrayal of Bane in this is just like if somebody just saw the design of Bane, and they thought like, "Oh, what would that guy be like?" and they just kind of went with it. Yes, they did not read Nightfall. The ideal <laughs> killing machine of humanity. <laughs> Fucking John Glover. I love Who are these people? I don't know. <laughs> The United they, Nations like, investors. You and investors, they say it very briefly. I, I oh, would go off for daddy. Okay. Is it, so so this is like right next to her, like fucking yeah, right, right, right next to her lab. <laughs> this is right next. This is in the other room, like room two. Room 
Yeah, okay, yeah, you're gonna fucking hold him down. Dear God, what, what did that guy think was gonna happen? <laughs> he's like, don't worry, guys, I got this. He's like a Pokemon, he can only see his That's it, yeah, that's all he is. Okay. <laughs> oh, here we here it comes. Here it comes. Look at him. Said the spider to the fly. Said the John Glover to the Uma Thurman. I think we'll put Jacob, you love this performance a little too much. I, I think. Think, look, I <laughs> this is you with like like this is your version of the Jim Carrey performance in the last movie. It is because he gets the he's, best he's line just, in the just, movie. No, no, John Glover is Jacob Jacob Licklider's Joker. He's just like him for real. <laughs> That's Jacob. Not not not. Uh, also, Uma, yeah. I also love Uma Thurman's uh, delivery here. <laughs> Teaching high school chemistry. God, the Joker's the only villain in these movies that didn't start out like a. Um, ex- excuse me, sir. Can I? Can I, can I please let me? <laughs> uh, your opinion. Sadly, I'm not good at prediction. <laughs> I'm afraid you'll have to die. And he's just <laughs> so rosy. I do a bunch of okay. I do really so like here's, that. That was funny. So here's our Chris Walken scene for this one. <laughs> I'm afraid you'll have to die. That was awesome. He's so good. And here's the thing: oh Jason Woodrow is a comics character. He is. He is. We read a we read a great storyline with him in uh in Swamp Thing. Oh, she, is, is a snake gonna burp into her mouth? Yeah. Oh, she just immediately became poison ivy. Oh wait, no. Hold on. Uh, yeah, the idea. The, well, what 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 Doctor Woodrow here thinks is that uh, is that she's dead. Because, you know, she's just, I mean, he's just done a bunch of toxic too. chemicals. <laughs> uh, snakes onto her. Okay, I love how they have to add two-time Olympic decathlete just to explain our dagger. Yep. Who's filming this? Also, like... Who was Here's where everything gets north. Wait, that's a great line. I never noticed that before. Here's where everything gets north. That's great. That's gotta hurt. Fuck off, Robin. <laughs> you little shit. Oh. What happened to his wife? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, that's right. You don't know, like, anything about Mr. Freeze, do you? Okay. <laughs> no, I know nothing. I don't know anything about this. Okay, alright. I won't say anything, then. <clears throat> oh, it's so weird that George Clooney is in this. Like, he... Weirdly enough, he's the one person who I look at and I'm like, I can't see you as Batman. Mm. Like, he's the one that I can't have that, like, cognitive dissonance. I don't know why. He's appeared in more movies as Bruce Wayne than Val Kilmer has. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the final boss of this commentary series, by the way. <laughs> the Flash? Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that has to be the final boss. Like, we need to work our way through like all the fucking DC movies, and then, and then we get to watch all the fucking god-awful CGI cameos in that. Yep. Well, no, 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 George Clooney isn't even a CGI cameo in that. He's like That's legit, true. just there, just there as Bruce Wayne. They, they just called him and they like screen recorded the call. And I was like, "Hey, sorry, can you say this?" <laughs> Again, Alfred's plotline in this movie is actually like pretty. Goth good. has so many great lines in this, like for real. It's it's so good. And you can yeah, tell, dying. you can I'm tell dying. they're laying the groundwork for what's going to happen. Jacob, Mason doesn't know what's going to happen. Shut up. <laughs> He's going to bite it. He's going to die. He, he coughed. He, he Michael coughed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, this is a great bit. Look at this. Oh. I hate that, like, so my head was slightly wait, hey, tilted wait, already. Wait, I love this. Hold on. Oh. Oh, fucking love that. That's so good, isn't it? Like, mm, okay, sorry, uh, go ahead. No. 
No, no, no. That's it, it would be a fantastic moment. Oh my god. I yeah, I like that. That's fun. But sorry, what were you gonna say, Mason? I was gonna say just my my head was already tilted, so like the the Dutch angle, it looked like I was looking at it straight, and for a second I was like. Oh, <laughs> Okay. Okay. So here we go. Here we go. 60s Batman villain heaven. Um. Okay. Should also say Poison Ivy's real name is Dr. Pamela Isley. Especially for a dead woman. Axelick going on in the background. <laughs> Mason's face. <laughs> you can feel free to screenshot any of my reactions and like put I them should. in the video. I really should. Genuinely, you can. You have my permission. I don't care. My lips. Mm. <laughs> With venom. No. Ah. Ew. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> don't kiss her. Are you that fucking down bad? <laughs> you god, this woman sprouted from the ground. I you don't, you don't eat the potatoes that only sprout from the ground, dear god. Wait, the music here no less. It's a jungle in here. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, why are we actually fucking living for Uma Thurman right now? <laughs> Let Schumacher go camp. Like, it wasn't whatever oh Jim Carrey God. was doing in the last one. No, it's, it's so crazy with it. This is it, man. This is this is what it's all about, man. I hope she burns herself alive right now. She catches fire. Coming, Bane, darling. Bane, darling. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking delivery! Oh my god, it's so good. Fuck, I love it. Oh, no man. one says no. Oh wait, wait, no, it, it's about to, it's about to get better. It's about to get better. I'm Mr. I'm Mr. Snow. I'm sorry. Uh, white Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> <before I'm going. laughs> sing, sing. What the fuck is he Sorry. doing? He's <laughs> collecting a choir of instruments. What the, what the fucking freezer meals? <laughs> and here's our um, French woman. God, I wish I had alcohol. Oh my god. This, this one's Harley Quinn this time. This is. <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's <laughs> Oh it's worth God, noting it's view it's it's worth noting viewers a lot of this commentary is dependent on watching the last one. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> really I, should. Cannot rec we, I cannot stress enough we are doing this right after the last movie. Oh man. But you're getting that whiplash, so aren't you? <laughs> this is so overbearing. Oh my god. Like look. Yeah, boss. Oh man, I I oh, f fucking from laughing so much. I'm genuinely sweating right now. Fuck. Does it give him contact lenses? Uh probably. You're gonna hold Gotham ransom. After you freeze the city, who's going to be left to listen to the ransom? God? Like. Hang on, hang on. Find a cure for his ice? Hang on. We're getting froze. This is like the one thing they actually kept from uh, Heart of Ice from BTAS. Is that a woman? Yeah. That is his wife. She she oh, was she was dying she she was dying before his experiments. Remember? Um, oh yeah, that's right, that's right. Mm. 
<clears throat> Are you fucking... You did not give her a goddamn snowflake necklace. It's... I mean, he's nothing if not consistent. Yeah. I, oh my god. Man. Oh, enter, uh, enter Alicia Silverstone. Silverstone. Oh, who the fuck is this? What is this shit? <laughs> oh, 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 oh Jacob, don't, Jacob, don't say anything. I need to hear Mason's reaction to this. <laughs> okay, what is this? What the fuck am I doing? Oh, this, this is some shit right here. <laughs> he has the fucking turtleneck. God damn it. It's always, that, that's how you know it's in the same continuity as the Burton films. <laughs> I hope it's the same turtleneck for all of these movies. Oh my god. Even Schumacher's male gaze doesn't work. <laughs> oh, it doesn't. Uncle, okay. That's cool, alright. I, I I heard you were coughing. I had to brush to make sure you were okay. All the way from England. From England? I forgot <laughs> that was <laughs> Mind you, Alicia Silverstone. Wait, wait, wait. Is the Barbara. Is yeah, Barbara. Barbara. For killing uh -huh. it. Okay. Sorry, I had to like make sure I was reading all that. Okay. Do you know any Batman characters called Barbara? Yeah, the fucker who got uh, um, uh, fucking paralyzed in the TV version of The Killing Joke. In the TV version, <laughs> <laughs> did it happen in the comic as well? I forget. Yes. yes. Yeah. Bar oh, so okay. it's in, in the in the comics, Barbara Gordon is Jim Gordon's daughter. <laughs> but for some, right. but for some reason, this is Barbara. I guess Pennyworth. I. <laughs> okay. It's it's you know what I think it's Schumacher was like. None of these films have made Commissioner Gordon a character, but I want to do Batgirl. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Barbara Gordon is Batgirl. I, I remember that from the movie. You... From the from, from, from the Lego Batman movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Can I help you? I forget. But... I forget. Who, who played Batgirl in that? I forget. I don't remember. I played Tara uh... Strong. Oh no, Rosario Dawson. Interesting casting. Yeah. She's good, if I remember correctly. But yeah, she's she's good. Cause then who's Gordon in that? I was trying to find his secret brother. I'm I'm looking at, at it now. Uh who's yeah, who was Gordon in that? Wait, is Alfred like does he come from a family of butlers? Probably. Well, okay. Uh, seriously, who is Gordon? Oh, I don't know who this is. Hector Elizondo? Elizondo? I don't know who that is. I'm trying to figure out who the... Who's the actress playing the image of Peg in this? Is that... I don't know. It's Danny Elfman's cameo. It's that that's Danny Elfman, yeah. Yeah, it's Danny Elfman's cameo. Yeah. My cat our cat my cat is desperately wanting to get attention. She's like right off camera just nuzzling. Oh no, she's on camera nuzzling. I see her. Okay. Bye. Oh, that's so many layers. Um, yeah. I don't know why that's what I'm concerned about. I'll, I'll let it go. <laughs> so, Mason, we are now about 30 minutes in. Oh, oh God, is that it? <laughs> yeah, we're... It's actually moving we're by quite quickly, quickly, honestly. But, I don't know. I'm, I'm almost two drinks in already. So, Mason, I gotta ask. I gotta ask the thoughts. Um. Well, my migraine's almost gone, which I'm happy about. This is a lot. <laughs> um. Yeah. This is completely 
fucking not even close to the same universe as the first three movies. Like it's yeah. gone. We're in a yep. new universe. Oh yeah. So since we're back on Poison Ivy here now, um, so that uh, the what she did to to John Glover there uh, in the lab, that's sort of like the main like power that Poison Ivy is known for her poison kiss. That's it. Yeah, pretty much it. What? Well, what here, here's, here's the thing. That was, so I, I literally own the comic of Poison Ivy's like second ever appearance. Like pretty much like her whole gimmick early on wasn't so much plants as it was like she's so hot and sexy and she like divides Batman and Robin because they fight over her because she's so fucking hot and sexy, you know? Um, oh, yeah. So like her whole thing early on, really. Um, let me see. I could probably get it out right now. Oh, yay, the telescope. And here we have the gossip lady from the last movie. Oh, yeah. That's kind of cool, actually. See, here we go. Okay, so you can't see it for uh, for the listeners, but this is uh, uh, Batman number 183. This is Poison Ivy's second ever appearance that I have here on camera. And, oh, that's a uh, cool cover. I like that. Yeah, yeah. I always love to cover Blair Bond. It's uh, Robin on the phone. He's like, hotline call, Batman. Let's get going. Not tonight, kid. I'm staying in the Batcave to watch myself on television. And you can see on the TV, it says The Adventures of Batman. Um, Holy emergency. What's the real reason Batman's goofing off? The telltale clue is on the cover. And it's, it's, it's stupid as hell. <laughs> it's great. Wow. Yeah. I like Poison oh, Ivy. We give Julie that. Madison dialogue. I don't know who that is. Uh, Julie Madison is a comic book character. character. Yeah, yeah, this is Batman's girlfriend. girlfriend. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, good for him. Yeah, she, she, doesn't, she doesn't really have a role in this, because, you know, heterosexuals. Yeah. She looks like Daphne from Scooby-Doo. Genuinely, Clooney is the most believable of the original, like, three bruce waynes in this like in the in this uh, series of four, four four movies like clooney is such a believable bruce wayne i love him excuse me sir i have this contract for you can you sign it real fast <laughs> Everyone's like, what? No! No! Where, where else are we going to put so, so, so few, So few films actually create the atmosphere and vibe of an activist showing up at a political affair. <laughs> I mean, I do agree that's probably what the reaction would be if someone was like, if you, you'll pay. God, I really hate how all these movies are like, give them glasses. That, that'll make them unattractive. Yeah. I mean, let's be real. It, it just made Michael Keaton sexier in, in the first two, but you know. Yeah. And I mean, they kind of did it with Val Kilmer. I, I think he looked good with the glasses. Oh, but then, oh yeah, you know, actually, Clooney is like the only one they don't give glasses at some point. I want to see George Clooney with like, like fucking bottle with like bottle cap glasses or something. Gosh, she's so fucking good in this. <laughs> My God, I hate it. I hate. I hate how actually she, good she is. God damn it. Wait, did the police just let her stay? Like, are the police no, not there anymore? She, okay, here we go. Again, they're actually trying for genuine pathos. It. It. I, it's. I, here's the thing. Like. It's That's not true. good, but at the very least, it actually understands what makes Mr. Freeze a compelling character. Yeah, this is interesting. 
<laughs> Poor Frosty. I okay. Oh, he shouldn't watch this commentary track. The killer. Really oh, he gave it to him. Or, sorry, wait. Sorry, he gave it to her before he became ice. Yeah, so it's like uh, ironic. Really trying you know? to save her. Vanilla ice, ice baby, ice, ice baby, under ice. pressure, under pressure. <laughs> didn't 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 Queen like lose that lawsuit against? I think they did. What's his face against Vanilla Ice? I thought I thought it was Vanilla Ice, wasn't it? Well, but no, Cliff Queen Queen made, well Queen made under pressure first. Yeah, and then Bowie. Vanilla Ice. Like, like, didn't they lose that lawsuit though somehow? Or like, I thought that Vanilla Ice was the one that lost. Well, I will say the clip of him explaining why they're different is so funny. I've never seen it actually. Okay. Oh, oh, I love this track actually. This is a great track. Sorry, go ahead. No, it's just like it's like dun 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 dun. See, and that's how theirs goes. Ours goes dun 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 dun. Yes, it's completely different. I need to watch that. That's so good. It's so funny. Or, or he says, like, it's not the same. Like, I forget exactly what he says, but it's... <laughs> That's so funny. But he's doing public appearances? Okay. <sighs> she actually has a lot to do in this. Oh my god, I forgot how much she's in this. What the fuck is this? What is this place? It's a charity gala for the botanical gardens. Okay. I think it's really funny imagining like a party planning committee being like, okay, how do we get Batman and Robin here? Oh. The monkey. <laughs> He is so enthusiastic about that. This is so weird. Is uh, is the senator? Is the senator in the, one of the? Is I think the senator's in this scene somewhere. He, pro he probably is. I know he's oh, in the movie. Go. Oh, here we go. It is the heterosexual time. Heterosexual by oh, way of other camp. By way of by way of Joel Schumacher. Because <laughs> the eyes are funny. I like the way they're doing it. Like, the eyes, like, they, 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 like, shoot it, so it looks like it's peering down at them. I like that. What the fuck? Mason, I know you have the volume low right now, but the music here is fucking something else. Here, I'll mute myself and turn it up. Hold on. For just a second. She's blowing her magic pheromones over everybody. <laughs> it's so funny. Um. Uh. Okay. The heterosexuals, Mason. You don't get it. Joe Schubacher gets it. I. Okay. The sensual wink. Oh, believe me. No, as someone who finds women attractive, this is a 10 out of 10 scene. I love it. No, no notes. I mean, genuinely Uma, fuck fuck is I fucking, genuinely, Uma Thurman is fucking stunning, but what the fuck, Schumacher? <laughs> yeah, this is weird. Also, I'm beginning to think I've really had far too much to drink in these between these two commentaries. <laughs> I mean, Jacob sent me a photo of a fucking 12-pack he got yesterday. Oh, see, I, I, also, I, I, I also have a 12-pack, um, and I am on number seven, so. I never even finished my Romulan ale. It gave me a fucking migraine. I'm not, I'm not having any more. <laughs> hi, boys. Oh, it's hi there, damn it. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Just when I think I'm a true Batman and Robin stan, I fuck up the line. Poison Ivy. <laughs> Poison. Poison Ivy. 
Uh, her costume here years. is a clear reference to her, okay. the outfit she appeared in originally in the 60s, I believe. It's, it's true, yes. Um, and once again, I mean, this whole this whole plot line of this fucking movie is, is a reference to like her very earliest appearances, where she was literally just a sex object for Batman and Robin to fight over. It's so funny that everyone's treating Robin as if he's a child, but he looks... Like he, he's he's, he's like fucking he's almost fucking thirty he's almost fucking thirty Chris O'Donnell like, no, no, I, I, I imagine at least in terms of timeline time. he's supposed to be in his late early twenties I I would I would hope so at least like oh god it must hurt to have like a hard on in that suit plus everything you, you don't. Okay. <laughs> It's so good. Oh man, I fucking hate how much I love this. God damn it! <laughs> you gave this film update. one star on Letterbox. Okay, Joey. I didn't update. Here's the thing: I was just gonna say, literally, I didn't update my Letterbox rating of Batman Forever because I still stand by my one and a half stars. I might update my Batman and Robin rating. You only gave Batman Forever one star. Oh, sorry, one star. Sorry, I apologize. Um, but yeah, I might, I might update my my Batman and Robin. I think um, you have to. Bat the Bat Credit card. card, yes, <laughs> yes. Now, also, I realize I think my my enjoyment here has a lot to do with the fact that I'm almost seven drinks deep right now. So, well, so I'm only a drink and a half deep, and I'm having a, a, a good time. I'm like post migraine. I've had half of a tub of ice cream. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> well, well, I think you just need to chill, Mason. I swear to God, Jacob, I will really? love you. <laughs> Jacob, every time you annoy me, I will make DMing a little bit more difficult for you. That is a good price to pay because this movie is we worth should, it. Uh, we should talk about our D and D games on the channel. As Joey prepares to break our hearts next session somehow. It's gonna... It, look, you guys are on a travel session next time. You'll be fine. I, I don't think you're gonna kill us. You're just gonna break our hearts emotionally. Every, it, everyone it at home, it I happens. want you all to be aware of the ongoing joke. Every time we have a session, Jacob immediately assumes that there's gonna be a total party kill. Like, every single session. Literally every single one. It's so good. <laughs> you just assume the worst, Jacob. Flower girl. Oh, it's plant girl. Fuck. God damn it. Every time I think I'm a true Batman and Robin Stan. Son of a bitch. Garden gal is what you're thinking. What the fuck is this? Okay. It's sexy pheromones. It's blood. Doesn't work on a cold heart. <laughs> He's so fucking bad. He like, holds, he, like, holds up his oh, left hand. There's, like, a, a exaggerated you know? wedding ring. They know Schwarzenegger was miscast. People like to say that this movie just didn't care. And by people, I mean Doug Walker. Um, yeah. Definitely oh, cared. Like, I mean, here's the thing. Like, we, we, I mean, you brought it up, so I have to bring it up now. We were talking about the Nostalgia Critic Review and how I think, like, unfortunately influential it was to the way that Batman and Robin was engaged with online for so many fucking years. For at least a um, decade. Yeah. And I was one of those people, like I like I, you know, I was younger when when that came out. Like I was just like it's just it was something that I watched, you know? And I was like, oh fuck, that's fucking funny. He pretended to overdose on pills because there was a back credit card. Like fucking what? Come on. Like that's oh God. Fucking miserable. What a fucking time for the internet. Like there are a lot of like movie reviews that I feel like very much influenced the way people think about movies, like uh, the Red Letter Media review of Phantom Menace. I feel like, mm, yeah, yeah. Like, I like, mean, the, also, like, the, the entire the entire existence of fucking cinema sins. Like, so oh, much of that God. shit can be direct can be directly traced to the way that like certain groups of people engage with media online. Like, it's it's bad. Yeah. And it's, like, run into, like, everyone on Twitter who, like, takes any fucking screenshot from, uh, like, any MCU movie and, 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 and like, 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 with the, the line of, like, this is a $50 million budget movie and it's a, it's a shot of a guy standing there. Like, yeah, fucking like, cool down. I'm sorry. Yeah. So. The sets and models in this movie, though, like. 
I'm are curious, genuinely Mason. fantastic. Mason, how much do you know about Bane as a character in the comics? In the comics, nothing, because I, I saw Dark Knight Rises. Mm. Um, but yeah, like in terms of like what he does or who he is in the comics, I really don't know. Gotcha. Okay, so Bane is like kind of in the comics, known for like being a fucking not. I mean, not just you know, big strong man. You know, whereas scary mask whatever like he's he's legitimately a criminal mastermind like probably the smartest batman villain um he's one of the only characters like in batman comics who have ever figured out that like bruce wayne is batman from like not even meeting him pretty much he just like kind of like observed them from afar it was like oh yeah they're the same guy obviously and everyone else is like yeah. what and he's like oh it's you can just tell you know because bane's a fucking genius um it's okay. great he's a great character but then there's then there's this the first ever Actually, no, I guess B tested it first. Um, it but first. I guess, the, the, yeah, B, B tested it first. But the second ever, the first ever, I should say, mainstream, I guess, version of Bane to ever be adapted. And uh, and it's this. And I just, I can't imagine how much that poisoned the public perception of, of Bane. Oh, what a delivery of that scream. My God. <laughs> Why are you so upset? What happened? Did I miss something? Um... Didn't let he him wanted to go, go after him. Into danger. Yeah, he wanted to go. Yeah, he wanted to go after Freeze himself, and Batman was like, "Nah, fuck you." And that was a... I will say, as much as I, so I really don't know anything about Nightwing. It, like with that, it does kind of feel like they're setting up a thing where it's like, and granted, I don't know where this movie goes. It could go there, but it feels like they're setting up a thing where it's like Robin is like, I, I, "I'd rather just do this by myself." In in the words of that one clip from uh, Veggie Tales, <laughs> you'd think so, wouldn't you? Oh hell yeah! I want to know how they got the fucking bat yacht back from the last movie. Answer me. God, he can't move his fucking neck. And now here's the actual weak plotline of the film. What they are they argue? They're arguing over a woman. I don't think they're arguing over a woman. They're arguing over him being the leader and Robin's like, I'd I'd like to also be, you know, I'd like to have some responsibility. Oh god, that key that's such a Cheap looking keyboard. Sure, it was state of the art in 1997. That's true. Oh shit, Joey's gone again. I didn't realize. I think he had to use the restroom. Okay. God. Ooh, is, is he gonna watch Batman 89? Damn, we'll never know. So, Joey, I have a question. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope you both know that every time I leave, I still have my headphones in, so I can still hear you. Go ahead, no, Mason. I have a question. So I know that, like, yes. So Batman eighty nine and Batman the sixty six show have like comic spinoffs. I have don't know if these have any, right? Have what? Comic have, like, like comic sequels, like. Like, like, they, they, oh, like, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, no, this one doesn't. I, I think it should, though. I really would love to see what some, uh, some genuinely talented comic writers could do with the Schumacher films. Especially the trouble like is, Schumacher, though, like, well, the, tr the, tr the, tr the trouble is, though, though, the trouble is, though, that like the Schumacher films are already an offshoot of the Burton films, so they don't really exist in their own little like continuity to deserve uh, a comic sequel, but I would love to see it personally. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> God fucking no, 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 here's, here's the thing. I think this is, very, this is a very important distinction, though, to make. That like when Bruce is seeing that there, he's not seeing, you know, him at the at the grave of his parents. Like he's seeing a man that comforted him. He sees, you know, him and him and Alfred. Okay, fine. I'll fine. I'll get at that. Fine. I, I like genuinely. I fucking adore the Alfred plotline. Bleh, plotline of this. Fuck. I'm getting drunk. Fuck. Ah. Okay. The Alfred plotline. Plotline. This is so good. Um. Yeah. Hey, it's great. Just remember to take deep breaths. What the fuck yeah. is happening? I genuinely couldn't tell what was going on until he was on the floor. <laughs>
Just a few judo lessons, you know, that's all. That's all it is. <laughs> oh, God. I suppose you had a minor in Oh, league. God, I just realized they want to set up the Dick and Babs romance. Yep. That's what they're trying to do. Oh, I very much misheard <sighs> So, have you ever seen Alicia Silverstone in anything, Mason? Um, the name is familiar. I don't know where. Have you be. seen Scooby Doo Two: Monsters yeah. Unleashed? <laughs> yeah. Shut the fuck up! Jacob. I have. <laughs> She's in that. Good for her. She's Heather Jasper Howe. I don't know their names, but good for her. Anyway, most She's most people, like, nor- normal people, would know her for as the main character in Clueless. <laughs> Here's the thing, I haven't oh, seen okay. Clueless, but I have seen Scooby-Doo 2. <laughs> Monsters <laughs> Unleashed. Is he, like, butt-naked in that thing? No, unfortunately not. You'll see him. Yeah. They're, they're gonna take him out. They're gonna take him out in a second. He looks shirtless. Drag him into the cold beam. I fucking hate this. Allow me to break the eyes. Please, call me Mr. Uh, Mr. Freeze was my father. Dr. Freeze was my father. Dr. Freeze was my father. Why did he just fucking... No. Like, loot, like, uh, Three Stooges then? Because <laughs> it's, it's Batman and Robin? I fucking hate... Okay. You can't live outside the cold zone... Haha, dumb bitch. Oh, jeez. God, what, yeah. wait. Okay. This, 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 scene, this, scene, this scene actually scared me as a kid. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I hate the way he looks. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you know what? He's, he's giving it a performance, and I appreciate it. You mean they put some makeup on it? Like, yes, but Arnold Schwarzenegger is also, like, actively, like, you know... <laughs> I feel like he's trying to make it feel like it's painful, and I, I appreciate that. Oh my god. So now she's dressed like Scarlett O'Hara from Gone with the Wind. Wait, why, why did plants give her fucking succubus powers? Um, cuz. Alright. No, it says do not enter. No, no, Bane can't read. No, no, no Bane, no, 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 you can't read. No. Is okay, wait. Is this? Oh, this I was just, I was literally just gonna ask that. No, I think I want to say it's later, but I could be wrong. The fucking glow in the dark gang again. I swear to God. It's it's the same dudes. It's not the same dudes, but it's 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 the same gang, I guess, from forever. It's, it's Neon Golf Mad Max. <sighs> Here, wait. I'll, uh, Coolio was... No, that's not him. No, he was in... Oh, no, no, no. Okay, no. Oh, no, he's in a later scene. He's la- You'll see him. That I am. This is... Okay. Just ju- ju- juice off the henchman. She just turned off... Like, she just turned How... off her guard dog. How are we making fucking videos out of this? This is not content. I'm just okay. This is so much. This is so. How are much. you both? How are you both sober right now? Like genuinely. I mean, I, I haven't drank any alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> oh this no, my works. drink's full. Fuck. Ah uh, no. Fuck. I don't have any to rain. Wrap it up. Shit, I can't, I can't clean it up. Fuck. Ah, oh, fuck me. Okay, whatever. Fuck. I have another oh, lime one. Oh, this, actually, this is another great bit of the score here. Bane is just, like, has no personality. Let's see if I can I do it better. better. Fucking beautiful. What a fuck, like, genuine, genuine gay icon this woman is. Like, is she, what is she growing? Plants. Ah, oh no, oh god, oh I hate that. Nope, uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's like, that's like deeply uncomfortable. I don't know why. Oh no, ah, stop, okay. 
Once again, we're doing Dutch <laughs> angles for the villain layers. Mm. I feel like it's just that was a bad set. Mm. Clean this mess. <sighs> She's so good. Oh my fucking god. It's a shame that they didn't actually do Bane. Like, yeah. Really. I mean, like, like, like if you're gonna well, do like a fucking, if you're, if you're gonna do like a dumb like companion to to a, a Batman villain, like do like Solomon Grundy or something. You're right. They could have just made him Solomon Grundy, but like, him, and, him like, like, like gen genuinely, if you just changed the name and had Woodrow <laughs> like kill a kill a guy and bring him back to life and just like call it Solomon Grundy, like I'd be so I'd be so much more okay with that. But it's fucking Bane for some reason. Who the fuck is this person? This is Julie Jeez. Madison. She is a reference to the fucking golden age of comics. Like, um, like she is a character. Julie Madison is a character who predates Robin. She was Bruce's fiance until she disappeared in in the comics. Um, ba ba basically, surprise, surprise, Schumacher wasn't interested in doing an actual love plotline for Bruce Wayne in this one. So there's just kind of a girlfriend that appears in a few scenes, and that's about it. Sorry, what the hell is going on? He's envisioning so, poison ivy because he was he was he has been infected with the 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 pheromones of. Poison oh, Ivy. I don't know. Know. I'm on my eighth drink. This is not good. <laughs> this is <laughs> You're on your eighth drink. This is okay. Between two movies, between two movies, that's only eight this drinks. Is my eighth drink. Who's I'm gonna hide? <sighs> what the f wait? Where did you, where did Joey's head go? Jacob, Jacob, where does that go? Jacob, help. Jacob, where, I need help. Where, where, did, where does that go? Uh, under the shirt. What? Uh, no, no, it's gone. No, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's Jacob. It's gone. J Jacob, it's gone. It's gone. Jacob, it's gone. I think. Are we but, getting to uh, the Julio uh, oh scene? God, it's chronic. It's chronic. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for everyone. Oh, here we go. Coolio. Coolio's coming up now. Here we go. Okay, sorry for Coolio. real quick, everyone at home. Uh, Joey had the shirt on over his head and then like his head was slowly peeking out. That's why like <laughs> that's why I shouted it's crowning. This is not this is such oh my god, I can't fucking do this anymore. <laughs> we, we, we okay, like Coolio is so put the cameras on. Coolio is somewhere here with Alicia Silverstone, I think. Yes. Sorry, well, so some of these gang time? members look like they're from a clockwork orange uh yeah is, pretty much oh here we go here's coolio. coolio there he is there he is so that, that is dr Jimmy. jonathan crane aka the Ap Scarecrow. apparently apparently what yeah <laughs> so apparently the next movie would have featured coolio this same character as the scarecrow that's dr um, jonathan crane yeah and harley quinn at the same time apparently oh Okay. Who's that fucking kid there? My god, who let him here? Exil Schumacher. That's actually Christopher Nolan. <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was I was mid drink. Fuck. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh wow, I do not feel well. Oh god, that is very clockwork orange, you're right. I'm gonna walk for a little bit. <sighs> Joe, Joe's going for a stroll. <laughs> oh for a god, walk. I'm still here, I'm just walking. <laughs> He's pacing around. <laughs> See, like I'm walking in frame and out of frame every so often. Yeah, so this just has this this has it has it has, has a drag racing subplot with motorcycles in the middle. As it should. Do you think like, people don't like this movie? One hundred percent people don't like Here's this. Here's the thing. I completely understand why. I just disagree. This is okay. 
You know, we Joey, we have a friend who likes the Schumacher movies over the Burton ones. Who? Shay. Oh, oh my god. Oh Joey fuck him. So forceful. <laughs> Holy shit. He was mad. <laughs> Wait, why? Why? What? Wait, who is he appreciates <laughs> their campy aesthetic more than the Burton ones. Oh fuck him. I love Shay, but fuck him. Oh, okay. He does give this movie only three stars on Letterboxd, though. I mean, that's also fair ish. I feel like only, it's, it's, it's a bit insane to like, look at this movie and be like, oh, only three stars? Like, what? <laughs> that's a bit impressive, honestly. He I gives still, forever every, three and a half, which I think is genuinely wrong. I still love that you've never seen these before, Mason. Yeah, this is my first experience with these movies. Okay, he he gives Batman Returns four stars though. But he prefers these to the to the Shum- uh, to the Burton ones. To the Burton ones, yeah. Wait, how is Returns better then? In his eyes, probably just as a film. So how about eighty nine? He gives eighty nine three and a half stars, which I think is criminal. Eighty nine is the best of the four. It is. I agree. I mean, depending on how I'm feeling that day, it's either 89 or Batman Returns. Oh my god. This is a weird sequence in this movie. Hey, wait, what the hell's going on? Who are these people? Yeah, there's a drag race, and I don't know, I guess, like, Barbara's, like, seeking danger, because she's going through a lot. I think that's what it's supposed to be. You know? However, you have to remember something about Joel Schumacher. He's what? gay? <laughs> I don't like to say it's so reductively. <laughs> yes. How is saying someone's gay reductive? Because I'm not because I'm not wording because I'm not wording it in a fancy way, and I'm not trying to beat around the bush. I'm just saying he's fucking gay, and so therefore he's not portraying a heterosexual plotline that that well. Now, gay writers and directors can portray heterosexual plotlines well. Russell they can, can absolutely, because realistically, when we're breaking it down, they're not that different. But no. there's a certain disconnect when you're trying to portray the other, and you are not that other. Like, I don't know. If the, I'm I don't think right. I don't know. Really I don't, I don't know if I'm making it. any sense right now. Schumacher <laughs> also awesome. doesn't have an interest in writing a love story. Like, yeah. Yeah, I think it's, 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 it's the exact reason why the Chase Meridian plotline didn't work in the last movie. That well, and also a lot of cut scenes. I think on average, I think people, like, I, on average, I feel like gay people can write straight relationships much better because that's the media that they grew up with. Like, versus like whenever straight people write gay couples, there's a much bigger disconnect because they have nothing that else I, to be on other than the friends they probably agree. didn't talk to. Yeah, that I agree with, but there's still here a weird we have, here we have, Hey, we just Schumacher. missed the ball dropping about Alfred. Oh, yeah, sorry. Fuck. Well, is he in the shadows? Oh, he's bad. Never mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> is Alfred dying? <laughs> what was the, the face Clooney just made? That is one interesting thing about these movies. Like, comic book movies have to deal with that comics don't. It's the fact that, like, if they are to make multiple of them, the characters do have to age. Mm -hmm. Versus, like, the comics that can, like, somewhat keep things timeless. Yeah, you don't ever really have to acknowledge that, like, yeah, Alfred's been 80 years old for, like, nearly 100 years. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, it it certainly also doesn't help that they cast Michael Goff, who... Was already who, was, who, who was yeah? Who was who was already old when they started these movies? Yeah, yeah. Um, but then also, the then you also have the, you also have the benefit of like you know the Dark Knight trilogy, who cast Michael Caine, and they they did like this succinct story with him in three movies, you know. Um, but in, in movies like these, you know, that had the idea of they were just going to keep kind of going like comics do for a long time. Um, so. It's not the same. I'm not making any sense, am I? Fucking hell. No. Jesus. Okay. Oh, here we go. The the sexy saxophone has re-entered because Uma Thurman's on is on screen Dear again. God, okay. Also, I love the implication that the guards were like, yeah, yeah, Mr. Freeze has a sister who is that. Oh. 
sex. The sex gas. <laughs> you can. You, I just want you both to know that you both can say like pretty much anything right now, and I'll probably laugh at it. Potatoes. Would you ever fuck mm. a lamp? <laughs> probably. Ew. Don't kiss them. They're oh, pigs. the sex. The sex. The sex kiss. The sex kiss? Oh, look, oh, look at it. Look at, look, at, look at the things we know. The Schubacher references. The whatever. Yeah. I can't help the pure elation I feel when I see things. Also a saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> the, are, are you saying the sax vote is also indicating the sexiness of Jim Carrey? Oh god, yeah. He's a fuck. No, it indicates the, uh, the music meister. Oh, that's true. That's true. Genuinely, Jim Carrey music, music meister. Great casting. Wouldn't it be? Like, that, could be that could work, actually. Is he go-karting? What, what the hell's going on? What a great adaptation of this iconic character that I love so much. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and just running around in a shopping cart. <laughs> I keep dropping things. Fuck. Also, it just I like the shop. Me. I like the shopping cart that says Arkham on it. <laughs> yeah, this Arkham brand shopping cart. Yeah. Also, I'm a fucking idiot. Whenever we were talking about pumping him with Venom and, and, and we said, like, we're pumping him with Tom Hardy, I did forget that Tom Hardy also played Bane. Oh, shit, that's true. I was referencing Venom. Fuck. I didn't even realize. Fuck. Wait, you're right. Fuck. I completely oh, forgot about that. I'm too drunk to get my own reference. Fuck. <laughs> Everyone in the comments is just shouting at us. <laughs> I'm the one that made the fucking reference. <laughs> But I, I was still, referencing the Marvel movie, it's worth noting. But I wasn't... Yeah. Like, whatever, anyway. It's not not good! good. <laughs> um, also, how fucking ridiculous and fun does uh, Venom the Last Dance look? I haven't seen the trailer. Watch the trailer. The trailer looks so much fun. I'm excited. I genuinely love those movies. Like, just, it's like, I don't know. Just pure comic book ridiculousness. I'm here for it. I've only seen the first one so far, but I really liked it. I thought it was oh, the second one is genuinely more insane. It's so good. You and Meatloaf retrieve my butt. never said anything about a wife. Sir, yes, sir. Is the implication that she likes Freeze? Like, what? Oh, she'd go down You can't on convince me that this version of Poison Ivy is even, is, is even bisexual. I'm dying of cough, Master Wayne. I am Walter White, Master Wayne. <laughs> I am the one who knocks Master Wayne. Master Wayne, let me show you my room. I don't know what that was supposed to be, Mason, but I like it. Master Wayne, have you ever heard the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? Ah, there. Oh, were you doing Michael Caine there for a second? Yeah, I was. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Michael... the issue is, I'm watching. I'm watching this with so low volume. I don't actually know what he sounds like. No. <laughs> this entire, all, all four of these movies, I don't know what anyone sounds like. I'm just reading something. No. no. Snowy cones, ice cream. Ice cream. Oh. oh wait, this, this is also a setting in the in the in the Lego Batman video this... game. Yep, I, they're, oh, they're shit, like the, it's like the second level. They're right outside that same ice cream shop. Yeah. Oh my god, you're right. Okay, this is the one Pat Hinkle scene I remember from this movie. What the fuck okay. is that? They're what the fuck am I looking at? You you know how suspected criminals pose for the camera for police? I they look. Why are they Casablanca? <laughs> 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 Sorry, I just hear Joey laughing and I look over and he is fully <laughs> downing in another drink. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, 
I was so off guard. <laughs> I'm totally over her, I promise. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. Oh, fuck you. God damn it, I hate this. Oh, they're about to find one. shall return! I sh so, Mason... This was, hard, this was actually directly adapted from Heart of Ice. Directly? Uh, yeah, Heart of Ice was the first thing to give Mr. Freeze a cryogenically frozen wife that he was trying to, to save. Damn. Is that fridging? Or, or I guess freezing? I suppose... Oh my god. Um, yeah, and it's like, again, before before Heart of Ice, Mason, Mr. Freeze was just a diamond thief with ice-themed powers. That's it. That's cool. I like that. Ew. In his first appearance, Ew. he wasn't even called Mr. Freeze. Okay. He was called Mr. Zero. Oh, I think I did hear about that. No, don't, don't go into there. It's the exit door. No, he can't read. My lungs. This is literally just Batman 89 again. I can't imagine the fear you, will, you both go through every time I leave for the bathroom. Imagining it'll be just, just be like steel again where I just disappear forever. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Well, also, I was going to be a history lesson on the history of Mr. Freeze. I, I heard. I told you. I leave my headphones yeah. in. I leave. Oh. Oh, it's just the beast. Yeah. Who gives a fuck about his name? Um, oh, man. Oh, my God. I think there's a little bit too many of these. Fuck. You might have, buddy. You Maybe. Wait, what happened? Maybe you should stop drinking. Nah. It's I'd like to welcome everyone to the final Blood Donut Studios video. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're right. This is gonna kill Joey. <laughs> Paul, you wanna kiss? Okay, here's the thing though. Here's the thing though. I'm genuinely having more fun than I was during Forever. No, see, because this is a better movie. And in in a weird way, Batman and Robin has encouraged me to drink more, I think. I don't think this is a better movie. I just think I'm having more fun watching this movie. Exactly. That that's that's kind of exactly the point. Yeah. Yeah. Why are all the gorgeous ones? Why are all the gorgeous ones? Homicidal me. Yes. Yes. Iconic yeah. line. I love it. I, I want the final battle of this to be like them doing this, but they both have like a, like very exaggerated nose plugs in their nostrils to like block the pheromones or whatever. I am fighting for my life over here. So is, so is George Clooney. He's gonna get he's gonna get his neck snapped. Why is <laughs> Bane green? I think it's supposed to be the venom slowly taking over his system even more. No, here's no, the thing. No, I don't think I don't think even I don't think green was even like the color associated with venom at the time, was it? No, but it was in the movie. This movie, yeah, <laughs> this movie. That is an aggressive Dutch angle. That was just a sideways shot. That was too much. <laughs> Once again, this was both our first experiences with Bane. Yeah, what the fuck is wrong with us, Jake? <laughs> yeah, this is my, I guess my third or fourth, technically. I genuinely can't wait to go back into uh, the recording and listen to however the fuck I'm coming off right now. I mean, you're you're mostly coherent, honestly. Good. That's a good thing. Here's the thing. You're occasionally always, slurring. Like, I have always considered myself uh, a coherent drunk. I'm always aware of what I'm doing. I just have no control over my actions. See, I get giggly when I'm drunk. Yeah, I just... I think I'm similar to you, Joey, whenever I actually do get drunk. Like, I know what I'm doing. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm super... I, there's only one time I've actually like blacked out, and that was like it was a very brief blackout. I like I got I got drunk at, at a friend's house, and I was like out on the porch like getting ready to leave because my friend was driving me home, 
and I like I fell down, but I wasn't aware that I did it. Like like one one moment I knew I was like standing up and like looking inside the kitchen from the screen door. And next thing I knew, my knee was bleeding, and <laughs> and I was oh, like God. down on the ground and ground. And I heard from inside the kitchen, they were like, "Oh fuck, I think Joey fell." <laughs> and I was like, "Oh fuck, all right, I guess that's that's my night then. It's over." <laughs> I will say we did. We, did we, we, we kind of went past it, but I love Batman running full speed towards Robin, going, "Stop! Don't kiss her." <laughs> That's really funny. I don't need your help. I don't need your help, sir. Said oh Nightwing. God. This is the Nightwing origin story right Wait, here. He just became Nightwing. He did. It's over. It's he's. <laughs> There's no Batman and Robin. I I'll be right back. I'm going to put my ice cream in the fridge because I'm done with it. Okay. Oh! Oh, no! 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 No. Frigid wife. No. No. Fucking pick me, girl. Don't do it. She, uh, she kicked out the cord that was attached to Victor's wife, wife's like tube thing. Oh, the why tube. is Poison Ivy such a pick me? She um, she's Uma Thurman. She's she's living it up right now. She looks insane. I love that. I like how okay. activated her. She's Batman dead. deactivated her. She's dead. You lie. I appreciate no. how each shot is like them in their own respective like aesthetics. Like with him, it's the blue yeah. cold, and yeah. then for her, it's the green yeah. like plain stuff. I'm surprised I'm conscious right now, to be honest. And here's Arnold actually try like. Is that genuinely? Oh, look at that! Look at that! That's what it's all about right there. That's it, man. I'm sorry. Oh my god, she looks insane. And she's beautiful. Oh my god. Damn. I realize actually there's a direct correlation between me watching this and then like Pulp Fiction and Kill Bill not long after that in my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> you watch this and you're like, okay, fine, I'll check out Pulp Fiction. I think, well, here's the thing. I, 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 I for some reason, was watching Quentin Tarant Tarantino films from like a very young, young age um, for mm -hmm. some reason. And uh, I don't know. Uwe Thurman is just fucking beautiful. I love her. No, I, I agree. She's, yeah. Then the I world! Agree. The world! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I love it. Well, okay, that's... I don't think ice and plants go together. <laughs> I think it's you're funny. underestimating whatever the fuck this movie wants. I disagree with this movie. I disagree. I don't know. Joe just disagrees. I disagree with everything. Anything you say, I disagree with. Man. I disagree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joey thinks woman. Uh, I disagree. I think, I think, I disagree. Adam and evil is a lie. I disagree. <laughs> Fucking hell. I disagree. So what, do you think virgin heaven? Is that what you think, then? If, if you disagree with fucking hell? I disagree. Okay. He's dead. No. Or is he sleeping? No, he's, no. he's, he's still around. It's, Who the fuck is this guy? Uh, it's, it's Danny Elfman. What doctor shows up to like a house call dressed like that? It's Dr. Danny Elfman. I mean, remember how you said these movies were also had Gotham stuck in the 50s? That's true, yeah. I think that's your answer. Sorry, what is that fucking monitor in the background? It's whatever it wants to be. Alright, fine. How much longer do we have on this? Oh, for fuck's sake, okay. Uh, 40 minutes. 40 minutes? 35 minutes. I'm going to sleep now. <laughs> God damn it. 
What a fucking plot line. How was your nap? Joey, Joey, how's your nap? Uh it was it was okay. It was okay. Nice. This is okay, I'm sorry. This this plot line is fucking stupid. Okay, yeah, this is like yeah. the worst part of the woman. This and the fucking whatever Barbara's existence in this movie is. Oh yeah, Barbara just kinda there. Barbara when she doesn't share scenes with Michael Gaw. Yeah. Well, I mean, thankfully, we have this. Barbara's only here to talk to the male characters. I mean, she only has like one scene with Uma Thurman, and otherwise, Does he have a gun? Oh, exclusively a... talking to male characters. <laughs> I really thought Alfred was, was he? Was he? Like, was he yeah. Did you think he was gonna like shoot himself or something? <laughs> no, I, I really thought it was gonna be like, I, "There's something you need to do." He <laughs> like kiss her a gun. <laughs> Fucking shoot me. <laughs> I should really drink some water. <laughs> so, okay, so Alfred wants to have him have 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 Barbara find his brother and to replace him as butler. Oh god, that, that, that really is a plot line that goes fucking nowhere, isn't and it? Shoot him. <laughs> gonna shoot my brother. Well, here's the thing. What year, That's what, what year did Michael Goff die? Twenty eleven. Were they okay? I was gonna say okay, so he would have been fine to do a fifth film. Okay, yeah. I was gonna say like if he was gonna die soon, were they planning on like having him being replaced by his brother or something? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Michael Goff with a handlebar mustache, <laughs> doing like a doing like a Texan accent. Oh yeah, spoiler, spoiler, Mason. Michael Goff lives. Um, sorry. Oh yeah, I I figured. Yeah. Do you feel bad for <laughs> Ally McPherson who's playing Julie Madison because she's got nothing to work with? She has nothing. But Uma Thurman's here. Fucking hell! This is literally just Batman Returns. Is it? I don't know, just the scene where like they're at a party and she's like in disguise or whatever. Okay. I mean, I guess it's not exactly the same because I don't. As as at least this point in the scene, they haven't danced together. Yeah, and there are no masks. God, she literally just has manic pixie dream girl powers. That's her superpower. Which is like the most that Commissioner Gordon has done in any of these films. Get seduced? And yes. This is Clooney's Batman signal. It's just pheromones. He's like, yeah. I need <laughs> I no. need Thurman. No, I'm not. Oh, poor Pat Hingle. The guy. Damn, they really brought him in there just to have Uma Thurman tell him he's too old. That sucks. God, they, did they introduce a love interest just for him to cheat on her? I mean, basically? God damn it, okay. Or maybe, I mean, genuinely, maybe. No shit, I dropped my drink. Fuck. Genuinely, maybe the studio demanded. Like there be a love interest somehow. I mean, they already had one with Poison Ivy. All right, I'm gonna go clean up my. He cut himself off because he muted himself, but he's cleaning up his drink. Oh my god. They're just having Bane detach the bat signal. Yeah, so apparently Schumacher was told you need to make it ev- you need to have even more toys to sell in this one. Okay. What was the toy there? Don't know. No, the password okay. 
I was going to say, if the password was fucking Alfred, I swear to God. No, it's going to be Bruce or something. Some shit. Or like fucking Thomas and Martha. That's the password. Because fun fact, did you guys know that Batman's parents were killed? I'm trying to clean this up, but I'm not sure I'm in the state to do such a thing. Do you know who they who else they were thinking about casting for the role of Mr. Freeze? Hmm. Ed Harris. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Anthony okay. Hopkins. Oh my god. Beautiful. And Patrick Stewart. Oh my oh, god. Harry. Yes. Yes. I love the whole those actually. Give. Oh man, cleaning up cleaning this up is really hard right now. Fuck. Oh my god. They were also they were also they were also considering Demi Moore, Sharon Stone, and Julia Roberts for the role of Poison Ivy. No, it could only really be Uma Thurman. Come on. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think. Aww. Okay, I, I do like the flashback scenes of him and Young. Uh, right? Isn't this great? I like those scenes. Oh man, cleaning up right now is really bad. I spilled this drink. Oh fuck. Oh my god. Okay. Fuck. Joey's computer is gonna die. <laughs> Apparently, one of one of the directions he gave to uh, Schumacher gave to this John Glover was: "Remember, everyone, this is a cartoon." Mm. This recording is gonna be lost. Gonna become lost media because I'm gonna my computer's gonna die. I hope. I really thought. I really thought that. Um... Uh, Bruce Wayne gave Alfred a hickey there for a second, and I was really concerned. <laughs> Yo. Oh no, it's, it's her name. It's her name. Martha or something. England. She just nope. tries Why would that be the password? England, because he loves England! Okay. This is fucking insane. It's not going to be one word. It's going to be one word. No, it's fucking... Fuck, what's her name? Martha or some shit? Peg. I am I am not gonna be alive by the end of this video, yo. What's her name? Allowed. Oh. Alfred just wants to get pegged. <laughs> yo. He, he loves right, so I much. Nine, I think nine is my limit. She's so, watching um, having a Robin. Oh, you want to know who else uh, uh, for the potential sequel that um, Schumacher might have thought to cast in the sequel? What? Nicholas Cage as oh, Scarecrow, as... potentially. Oh, I did hear about this once, actually. Oh, yes. Yeah. That would have been fucking great. And Courtney Love as Harley Quinn. Oh, ew. Oh, no. Oh, no. My chair is creaking a lot right now. What the fuck am I watching? The I Robin you're watching Signal. Batman and Robin 1997. It is perfect. D yeah. She wants to kill you, dick. <laughs> <laughs> Again, this is, this, is probably this. Uh, this is probably the yeah. This is probably the one like jit just like I don't know how I would fix that for this part of the film. Uh, you don't make the movie. Make a different one. Make Steel, nineteen ninety seven. Yeah, do that instead. Ba -da -da. Damn it, there's another goddamn statue. There are so many. I feel like okay. I'm oh yeah, the, okay, the, these fucking these fucking NPC characters always confuse the fuck out of me. Like who are they? It's Rosen They are Pesci scientists Pesci working for Wayne Enterprises, uh Sure, this, good for them, telescope. but like could we could no, we like set them Rosen up at all? It's Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. I mean, we did though. They were they were there in the earlier scene in the observatory. Oh, were they? Yeah. Okay. Know, they they had lines and everything. 
Okay. They sadly didn't get names. No, the names are Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. And they're dead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're uh, dead. Uh, Bomb. Oh, this is my favorite Bane bit. Bomb. Are you fucking He just says bomb as he puts them down. That is all. That that's Jay, Mason. Don't you know that's all Bane is? He's just a dumb guy that says whatever task he's focused on. I'm sorry, kind of a shame we've had two film live action adaptations of Bane, and both of them have been reduced to the role of Hedgehog. Oh no. Oh no, oh, my, my drink good. spilled a little bit on my D&D notebook. That's a bad thing. Fuck. That's not good. Oh no. Fuck. Okay, that was from the spill before. That's, that is not a new spill. I just thought it was worth noting. Fuck. I'm and sleeping now. Am I awake? Yes, you're you awake. Are. If you're asleep, yeah. you're dreaming about me and Mason, which is not a normal thing to dream about that is a it's a nice dream to have though i appreciate it that's very kind of you these lights are confusing and i don't like them you're you're confusing mason and i don't like you don't walk into the light you fuck oh my fucking god are you ah uh, she failed why the fuck would you walk through the lights they're red if, if you're reading this, I'm long dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, if you're watching this. No, he says, if you're reading this, I'm long dead. I have not eaten, like, anything today other than, the, like, the two snacks I had during these recordings. Oh my god, Joey. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to eat my Pringles. It's okay. I'll have those for later. Yeah, like I had some water during work today, and then I got back to home, and I was like, "Time for the recording." Oh, the ass shot and the tit shot. Let's oh. go. All the heads, ahead the heteros. Joel Schumacher appeals to the heteros. Look, boobs, everyone. Ass. <laughs> I <laughs> heels. Oh God. Okay, so uh, we have he's... Batgirl now. Mason, Mason, how do you feel about Batgirl being here? Okay. Cool, why not? Sure, who gives a shit? Mind you, okay. before the movie released, Clooney was down to reprise the role for a sequel. What a guy. I mean, we need uh, a we need to decide. He's not going to get allured by fucking Poison Ivy's pheromones, so... All right. Should I roll a die for my next drink, or should you both choose what my next drink is? I think we'll choose what your next drink is. Okay. We've got uh, lemonade flavor, strawberry flavor, or lime flavor. Not water flavor. You need water, Joe. Uh, I do have water with me. Are you drinking I... it? No. This is a full bottle. I have not had any of this yet. You need to right, drink some of it, and then do strawberry. Give me a number one, two, or three. Two. Two. Strawberry it is. But also drink oh, half the water bottle before you start. <sighs> okay. And you can you can you can verify this. I'm drinking the water right now. Yes, yes, he is drinking the water. Oh that was slippery we when wet. All right, Fuck now me. strawberry. Why is this entire movie is Robin under a spell? Like we've got nothing from yeah. actual. Yeah, he's a dumbass, isn't he? Yeah, what a fucking cringe character. God, Robin's objective. See why they never used him in a movie again? Because uh... ew. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this, oh yeah. This plot twist is stupid, isn't it? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait what's the plot twist? You'll see, you'll see. Shit, they kissed. He's dead. He's dead. If he doesn't die, I'll be upset. Bad luck, I'm afraid. If he doesn't I'm die, I'll be Robin. mad. <laughs> this. Here we go. What? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. You can see them if you look closely on Chris O'Donnell. They're there the entire the, the, time. The, 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 con the continuity is solid. It's when see the fuck. 
did he put on rubber lips? I love the way she goes like <gasps> the, the the way her hands go up. Oh, oh my god, she knows exactly what fucking movie she's in. It's so good. Oh, thanks for the George Clooney ass shot there. Yeah. We'll always be grateful for George Clooney ass shots. God, I fucking this is. Too and then here comes Batgirl. Okay, sure. You're about to become compost. She was definitely up there for like five minutes, being like, "Fuck, what do I say? What do I say? What do I say? What do I say?" <laughs> Coming up with her first one-liner. Oh my god. It didn't go out long ago. It's what a working. fucking line! What a line! Oh I think my this God. is Schumacher's attempt to do feminism. Wait, 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 wait hold on, hold bit. on a second. Was that shot reversed halfway through? Probably. That really looked like it was like a forward shot, and then like halfway through it became a backward shot. Oh man! Please, when Please, I pulled, when I pulled her plug, this stop. is a one-woman show. Oh, they need to talk like people. I only I only know that line so well because they play it twice in the movie. <laughs> I'm sorry. When did she make that? When yes. did she fucking make that? Amazing moment. Oh my god. How am I still conscious? Oh my god. It's the magic of Uma Thurman. No! Curses! Oh no! There it is! There it fucking is. Oh my god. He gets eaten I by her and Audrey too. Genuinely iconic. Oh my god. How does it get better than that? Oh. No, she's not dead. Good. She's still around somewhere. Alright, we have 20 minutes. Her signal is that <laughs> <laughs> That's the killer. <laughs> <laughs> Great dialogue. Know. Fantastic dialogue. Oh my this god. I mean, much. genuinely, though, it's no worse than anything else in this movie. I hate this movie. I'm spilling more drink. Fuck. Stop. Nope. A straw. Kick some ice. I fucking. I'm gonna end it. The world. So he's going to use the telescope as a massive freeze gun. When did he? Okay, I'm going to have a stroke. Okay, this is so overbearing, guys. I think we should do a commentary track for the holiday special. Oh wait, what? I think we should do a commentary track for the Star Wars holiday special. Well, I'm not watching that again. Oh, you've already seen it? Damn it, never mind. You were there when I watched it. Was I? Wait, wait, when was that? Last, like around Christmas last year. I don't... I'm not sure I was there for that. I don't remember that. Oh my god. This is too much. Like, both of these movies right one right after the other. Like, it's a lot. This is, this is a lot. Also, Frozen Over Gotham looks so good. Like, sure. You, I mean, you gotta give it to them. The sets are great. No, the fucking vehicles are so good. Now, ridiculous. these costumes are awful. Yeah, but like, outfits. I'm sorry, why do they have ice themed bat outfits? I think it's because they're winterized, is the joke, or is the is the bit? Okay, I don't care. Winter I'm not saying that. Jason I don't care. refuses to admit something. that these set like the frozen over Gotham set is genuinely a great set. It is, it is. But yeah, also, sure. what the fuck are these costumes? Oh my Again, god. Again, they're not good. I, I don't understand. When did they change? They didn't. Why are they different? Did 
this is the least Knight Rider the Bat car has ever been, and I'm pissed. I want you I both to know that every time I pause has been to like burp or make some other like unseemly sound that I wouldn't normally put on YouTube. Well, thank you for that, Joey. Yep. Well, I, I, I'm really, I'm really sparing the viewers, really. Bat. Ah. Honestly, you know, oh, I kind of want to see what no. Batman Unchained would have been. Like, I'm curious. No. I'm Batman sorry. Five Ever, you mean? It was going to be called Unchained. Batman Triumph Five Ever. Ever. I am. Oh, man. How. Oh, God. How am I still alive? Oh, my God. Fuck. What the fuck? Okay. Stop using your fucking customized grappling hooks. So true. I, this is. I'm, I'm. Okay. I need to calm I down. I really hate these costumes so much. Oh, they're so bad. Oh, my God. Honestly, they don't fit with the rest of the movie. I don't think any of this fits with anything. It just kind of exists. Uh-huh. Tell me all about it, man. <laughs> Damn, it's not good. I mean, I like that they're working as a team. Like, I'm mad. It's a big, dumb oh, sci-fi man. comic book ending. Wait a minute. What the what hell was that keyboard array? That keyboard array started with you. I want you both to know that you could probably tell me to do like anything right now, and I'll probably do it. It sounds like you're oh, trying to make coming. coming. What does that mean? What does that mean? It sounds like you're trying to make us tell you to do things. Like, you know, it'd be crazy if anyone asked me anything like really personal. Like, oh my god, that'd be crazy. I, I don't like this movie. I'm so sorry, guys. This is so much. That's fine. It's not good. It's, it's a not bad good. Movie. It's you don't have to like it. <laughs> you have to appreciate it more than forever, because I don't look. I don't so, know. Sup, big Kahuna. I've I've like I've watched them both back to back. I can't differentiate them in my mind right now. I like they're the same <laughs> entity in my head. It's two parts of a bigger picture, and I don't I'm like really the picture. I'm really thinking about the fact that they had George Clooney say, that's not very PC. How about that? In a movie? film in 1997. Like, what? I would yeah. forget that line exists, because that feels so weird in the late 90s. Like, I mean, I think that just shows that conservative talking points have not changed in the last 40 years. Oh, yeah, totally. Uh God, the fucking zooming in every time it changes. I'm gonna sleep now. <laughs> I'm like, what? oh my god. What the hell is happening? Okay. What is this? Why is, why is the fucking planetarium? This is that's what it is. I'm sorry, what'd you say? That's what it is. It's a planetarium. I, okay, good for them. That's not how the fucking solar system works. This is a useless planetarium. These planets don't look like that. They're so close together. Why are they spinning around? Why is that Saturn red? I've had enough. Why? Well, I, I think the real question is, why are there like six Saturns? Yeah, why are there so many Saturns? What is this fucking planetarium? So they, they cut oh, yeah. off his drug tube. Yeah, so Bane is now debaining. He's quite literally deflating. He's getting circumcised. There he goes. Now, here's the thing. I think that's a thing that happens in the comics, too. Yeah, if he gets, like, fucking, like, devenomed or whatever. Like, he fucking oh, goes down. Because we read, we, read we read the Tom King story where he's, like, trying to get over the addiction of venom in, in I Am Bane. Yeah. Or, um, yeah. Um, but he's a puny little bitch without his venom, so fuck him. God.
Fuck, I spilled it again. Fuck me. Fuck. Dear God. Maybe you should stop drinking. I want my last one. Okay, that, like that's a lie. I have. That's a lie. I have two more left, but this is my last one for the recording. This so. is ten. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit ten. This is the worst thing. Yeah. By the way, parallel to all I, of this, I'm, Alfred is fucking dying. I mean, I told her, I told everybody like right at the start of this. This is like the worst thing we ever put out on this channel. I think so. so I think we have, we have some genuinely fun analysis in the middle of this when you weren't quite as drunk. I think I disagree. Okay, fine. You want me to, to, want me to analyze this right now? I can have fucking yeah, analyze this. Let's talk about this like college students. Yeah, let's actually analyze college? the climax of Batman Oh, the, these fucking doctors? All right, so like, they represent like, um, like academic society or something, and they. Um... You know, I, I quite, I quite think that Joseph Schumacher is trying to emulate Hamlet in, in the way that. This Wait, did you say Joseph Schumacher? <laughs> Just... <laughs> Jerusalem Schumacher. I don't know. Oh, I, 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 I'm quite happy you brought up the biblical references because I do think they're quite abound in this story. I think. Uh, oh my God! Look at little, little shrinky Ooh. Bane there. Like, what a little bitch, isn't he? We call it the David and the Goliath effect, except it's the same person. Mm hmm. I think. <laughs> Did you just say, mm hmm? I think. <laughs> but this is probably the most comic book movie a comic book movie could be, right? Like. I don't know. I feel like Into the Spider Verse is more of a comic, comic book movie. Do you know what? No, I think you're right. This is the most comic book a, a live action comic movie could be. All right. Maybe. I'm done. It's over. I'm proud of you. I'm done. I'm done. You might want to get yourself some peanuts. I have some more peanuts here. Yeah, yeah. Eat, eat some, some snacks peanuts a little bit. And cracker jacks. Fuck, where'd the cap go? Fuck, there it is. Oh, man. What the hell am I watching? I feel like I've not been here for the last 30 minutes. Uh, you're probably right. Yeah, so okay, just isn't, this, isn't, isn't this theme actually great? Like, I really love this theme. Fuck, I, I keep dropping the cap. I keep dropping the cap. Fuck me. Here, sure. Here's the thing, Mason. People, people call this the worst, worst comic book movie ever made. Oh, no. Steve came part. out in the same fucking year, man. Yeah, like... I'm pretty sure the first two commentaries we did for this channel, like, those two movies are worse than this. I think I gave both those movies half on the story. bottle. Fuck, there it is. Okay. I did it. Wow. Men. Everything the hard way. I'm gonna sleep now. Where's Uma? He's dead. Uma has been, Uma has been trapped by a giant plant. She's not she's dead. Little... She's not dead. She's just been little shop of horrors. Did it? Wait. Yeah. Okay. Curses. Iconic last line, really. I was going to ask about this, the, the the satellite thing, but I think I've just not paid attention. So I think that's me. Are they You're probably right? Are they heating up Gotham? Yeah, they're, oh. they're reflecting the sun from the other side of the planet. To, uh, and so uh, Gotham has been uh, heated again, and so that's so fucking dangerous. Which this is so such could, a Silver Age so, plot line. So could you uh, hypothetically, in the middle of the day, of the day, reflect the moon and freeze the planet? No. Wait, is that you what they do? You should because be able to. The light from the moon is just the light from the sun. Okay, what's, but what's also dog. What if I disagreed with you, Jacob? Then, 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 could I use the moon to cold the Earth? No, because because physics. Why? Okay, I didn't take physics. Okay, now, now here we get some actual like what? Oh, like God. some actual pathos. Like again, fucking. Jacob, you're the first person I've ever heard use the word pathos in, in reference to Batman and a Robin. 
pulled her plug. Pulled her plug. This <laughs> is a yeah, one woman show. show. <laughs> Again, I don't even know that line because they play it twice in the fucking movie. I love it. That's just extra mean to him. Like, yeah, by the way, your best friend is who killed your wife. Oh, never mind. Uh, by the way, it wasn't me. But again, they're, they're pulling stuff from Heart of Ice, and it actually kind of works. Chicken soup, the only way to fight a cold. They should have stole that line, too. They should have. They really should have. And it actually would have really fit with the tone of this movie. It would have. <laughs> oh, she's, she's so sad. Or she's so happy. But again, I, I, people... Oh, God, I, I feel like I'm just, like, I'm shouting sure. everything. Am I just, like, shouting everything? Or, like... <laughs> His name is Victor Fries? <laughs> freeze. Freeze. It's Freeze. You oh. pronounce it Freeze. It's spelled Fries, right. but you pronounce it Freeze. So. Remember, yeah, Poison I, I Ice's real it. name is Pamela Isley. Yeah, yeah. I need to read that to everyone. Like, 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 a, like, a, like a normal person. Remember, the Riddler's real name is Edward Enigma. Enigma. I don't like that. What are some other Major fun Batman villain real names that are? Uh, oh god, Edward um, Ligma. Yes, Ligma balls. Um, I don't know. I think, I think no. honestly, that's about it, really. I mean, I guess Jonathan. Oh Crane my god, the, the take two of these and call me in the morning bit, like fucking. What does it mean? It's the cure for Alfred. It, it's 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 a cure for Alfred, basically. How the fuck? Okay. I, I do no, I do no. like that this is the one movie who is like where we have Batman like let a villain live and mm-hmm. get what they want. I mean, it's it's a it's a stupid like contrivance that Alfred has the same disease that Victor's wife has, but like I don't know. I think it really works for this movie. <laughs> Oh, God, I need to stand up. Fuck me. Oh, my God. God, he looks so drunk. <laughs> I'm talking about him, not you, by the way. <laughs> you can call me drunk. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, there she is. Okay, so again, the implication is that she loves Victor, right? Like, what? Yeah. Stupid. Stupid. Ice hell. and plant don't sex each other well. They... <laughs> no. Oh my god. <laughs> Mom says it's my turn on the Xbox. <laughs> They let him do this? Winter has what at last? Come. Guys, I sh- guys, I still have two drinks left. Can I finish them in the next seven minutes? No! No! no please don't, don't even don't. try. Don't. Actually, don't. I think I might. You're, you've reached your limit. You've said this. I know I said it, but that was like five minutes ago. That's, okay. No. You're not doing it. We're not letting you. I mean, you can't do anything about it. You said that we could get you to do anything. I'll text your sister. You We're telling I'll you. Let your sister invade and stop you from drinking. If I hypothetically opened this right now, holy shit! It's the celestial toy maker. Finally, <laughs> Mason. <laughs> Thank you, Mason. <laughs> I have waited four fucking movies. Uh, how it genuinely like how fucking good is Michael Goff though? I love him. He's good. I like him. Here's the thing: like I have a lot of strong opinions on live action Batman things, but like I genuinely cannot pick a favorite live action Alfred. I love them all so much. I think there's been bad live action out for Alfred, right? Like between like fucking Jack Napier. Or sorry, Alan, Alan, Alan Napier. Napier. Alan, Alan Napier. Wow. You're, yeah, Alan Napier. Um, Michael Goff. Let's Michael be honest. Kane. Alan Napier is responsible for making Alfred the character we know today. 
basically. Oh, totally. Yeah, between him, Michael Goff, Michael Caine, Jeremy Irons, Andy Serkis, they're all so fucking good. Fucking Sean Pertwee, like, I love them all. They're so good. And Ian Abercrombie. Ian Abercrombie is a fantastic... Like, I hate Birds of Prey in the show, but, like, I love Ian Abercrombie as Alfred. He's so good. All right, I'm opening my 11th. I'm texting your sister. It's fine. Let it go. Don't. Okay, we're, don't. We're don't. Have, don't we're don't have shit, have I'm doing this. it. <laughs> Jacob, it's probably fine. Uh, Batgirl is the one in the middle. Oh, got it. Okay. Yeah. But, oh, like, so, that was, so that was Batman and Robin. Maybe. It's over. Oh, oh yeah. We have five minutes to vamp. Oh, my God. That, I feel like there's way more time than we've gotten in like all the past three movies. Uh, Isn't it? The director of Shrek was the visual effects supervisor on this. Oh, good what for a legend. Him. Deep Swenson is oh, name. I don't like that Schwarzenegger gets top. Wait. Hang on. Yeah, he, he got top billing at the start of this, too. No, that, yeah. wait, no. Schwarzenegger gets second billing after Bane. <laughs> wait, really? Yeah, because they had oh. Bane's credit before the scroll. Hey, Gollum. <sighs> I didn't know Gollum was in this. That's cool. And the Doctor. That's fun. Wow, how am I still alive, guys? I don't know. Don't ask questions. Stop drinking. Uh, it's a little too late for that. So are we going to do this with the serials next? The 1940s serials? No, I don't want to. Well, what are we doing next? Are we doing the, the Zack Snyder stuff? I think we should do the Zack Snyder stuff next. Oh, wait, you know what we should do? We should actually do the drinking game for, though? Uh, what? The Room. The Room? We should. There's, there's an actual drinking game for the room. Oh, oh, we I should actually it do it together. It's you really fun. We sh- if we do the room, I will. I will get alcohol and I'll drink with you guys for that one. Please do, Mason. I would love you even more than I already do. Somehow, if you if you joined <laughs> in for that. But no, I think like for for DC movies, I do think we should do the Zack Snyder trilogy next. We should. We should. We should. But we have to put in. We have to put in the original Justice, Justice League. League. Yeah. Justice League. So yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll tell everyone now. I've seen Man of Steel once in theaters when it came out, and I saw Batman v Superman once in theaters when it came out, and I've not seen either version of Justice League. I am not conscious. Interesting. It's okay. Here, I can. Here, I can do it. Uh, Joey, anything to plug on the channel? Uh, yeah, check out. Uh, Star Trek videos. Uh, me and my brother, we watch Star Trek. Um, you are at the animated at series time. at this point, probably? Still? We're at some point in the animated series. Check all that out. Uh, R2BD exists. Me and my brother talk about Star Wars things. Um, I don't know when the episode of that, the next episode of that's coming out. Um, this is the worst content we've ever made. Fuck. Fresh Fresh Face Comics oh. it will be Fresh Face Comics! Most likely in the in the middle of our Marvel next Marvel block when this comes out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll be yeah, on soon. That's true. Yeah, Mason will either be on soon or have possibly already been on, depending on Yeah, uh, pro- probably soon. This will be out sooner sooner ish than later. Yeah. Yeah. Also, uh Fresh Face One Shots. We are in the Yeah, uh, we talk about up. uh Tom King by God, Wonder Woman by Tom King. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Batman the Brave and the Bold by Various and Superman by Joshua Williams. With this That's fall, it. With, That's the with one. This, with later this summer doing uh, digital visual effects by Sis Hollywood. As well as the Uncanny X Men by Gail Simone. In this what is it's, a, it's a visual effects by Sis Hollywood. Sure. Uh huh. Awesome. Oh, well, hey, Jimmy. Okay. okay. I joked. But this is actually the worst video out on this entire channel. Um, oh, wow. What is speaking wrong with us? Of, Fuck me. Speaking of bad content, Jacob, do you have anything to plug? No, oh, that's sorry. That, was that was mean. I feel bad. 
I'm tired. Go, go check out Jacob's blog. It's it's good. He talks uh, about- yeah, check out Jacob's blog and uh, all the things does. he does over there. Thanks. Thank you Mason, to the United States Army for this. Mason, for this what do you thing. have to uh, to plug? I have nothing. I do nothing. I I'm here. That's it. You sh- you should plug things anyway. Uh, go, go watch, um, go watch The Bad Batch if you're into Star Wars. It's surprisingly good. That's true. That is a really great show. And then Mason watched the first season of recently. It's a really, yeah, it really it's good. Great. And actually, that's a great R2BD tie-in because we talked about the last season of The Bad Batch. The last season oh. of The Bad Batch on R2BD. Let's check that out. Anyway, oh. holy shit. Better goodbye. Ah! Uh,